Well, yeah. I'm kind of nervous. About Why? Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Well, so yeah, I was commenting like so you uh, you did the RBF Manager 2.0 that has a lot of new improvements and refinement on the workflows and yes. uh, yeah well first of all thank you for all the hard work you did this year it's been amazing i mean i cannot catch up with your pull requests lately like mm -hmm. you're sending more pull requests that i can check and i have some of the the pull requests that are still there i mean it's not like i don't want to merge it but there are some big changes i want to test it through uh very well before merge it in the main branch that's the reason because i didn't mm -hmm. take it but this uh well the rbf manager too it's side by side with the rbf manager uh, uh, one so in this latest release we put both together so we can have both and the people can choose which one um wants to use and also for backwards compatibility the people has the one because we have new features on the two so depending what you're doing in production. So it's uh, going to be better. So George, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, first of all, yeah, I'm glad to be here. And thank you for giving this opportunity uh, to show the new LBF module too. And yeah, there's no big change, but it became easier to slap uh, LBF uh, uh, slap. Yeah, uh, compared to version one, uh, what I'm aiming for aim for with this version was to simplify the process as there were multiple steps uh, involving generating an LBF uh, setup in version one. Okay, let me share my screen first. All right, this one. Then uh, here's a new UI layout and left one is a version one and right side image is the version two. The most significant change in the new layout is the driven uh, widget is now embedded here uh, and eliminating the need for a pop-up window for the driven setup. And then the button uh, layout related to the pose for the table widget is now here, uh, was changed after embedding a driven slab widget into the UI. And then, so okay, I can share the video, how it goes. And this is the version two. Let me uh, play. First of all, yeah, like, so it's much faster to slap, you know, uh, each uh, gimmick setup. All right, then I want to show you first, so, New UI has a, a button to uh, assign both uh, control uh, target and driver target uh, simultaneously uh, using this button and much faster. And then... Uh, Just question. Sorry, interrupt. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, so with the button. So basically, you need to select first like the control and then select the, 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 tar the, uh, yes, yes. the driver. Driver, and then push it. Yeah. So you need to, to select in order and then push the button. That's the. Yes, okay. correct. Thank you. Also, you can individually select, uh, set the uh, target uh, one by one. Yeah. Then version one. So after uh, once setting the, how can I say, target mm -hmm. uh, controller, so the driver, all display attributes uh, were appeared mm -hmm. in here. So, which is kind of, you know, how can I say, inconvenient mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, how can I say, we most likely to use a translate attributes like translate, rotate, uh, scale for the gimmick yeah, uh, joints. Yeah, right. Then now uh, became, how can I say, yeah, so pop up the... Yeah, it's easier to go. Able. Yeah, the cable directly. Yeah, cable attributes. Then consider display non cable uh, if there are no cable attributes like our joints. Mm -hmm. uh, joints. All attributes are you know non cable by default. Yes. Then also, let me check. Uh, this one 
right now. Uh, this is the image of the gimmick RBF file. Then uh, version one, uh, the value of the, you know, opposed value is yes. kind of zero. Very yeah, very, very almost zero. Yeah. Yeah. Very small. Now, <laughs> I need to, you know, change uh, this, how can I say, uh, the, more readable. Mm -hmm. We rounded the values file. to something that has less yes. precision, but at the same mm -hmm. time, it's it's yeah easier to handle because this is really small ones. Yeah, then yeah, it's easier to uh, how can I say see the file and track down the value as well. And then so it has a new feature. Uh, allows us selling your select attribute to be automatically highlight, highlighted in the new operation or the new slab. So let me go back the, you know, video that you can see the result after hit the button. So next and time it's going to be... Yeah, next time, yeah. It's automatic, so you can quickly add instead of always have to click one by one or selecting yes. again so you you have this, like this. preset feeling mm, yeah that's so, amazing so, yeah. that's it's really convenient i mean all these new updates that you did it's they are really really like smoothing out all the workflow i think yep then what else but it's kind of like this uh, let me check my list and then also the the UI opens uh, with the size and position it had uh, when it was last used, yeah, uh, which is uh, convenient as well. And also I added the Q split uh, Q splitter here uh, between uh, mm -hmm. this widget and this table widget. Yeah, now you can change the you know uh, width of the widget uh, oh. each of widgets. Thank you. That's yep. very welcome. <laughs> yeah, and I added the new menu item to delete all RBF's uh, weight drivers slab. Yeah, so there was there wasn't how can I say menu in version one. Then I mm -hmm. came up with the idea. Yeah, thank you. And that's pretty much it for this new version. And Please free to ask me or any suggestion uh, to you know yeah. fix the bugs or uh, you know yeah. update the new function. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if the people is listening, uh, this uh, Yoji is very active on the forum. It's so active that the people ask for things and he sends pull requests right away. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you can yeah. reach out him there and ask anything you need. Thank you so much. Thank you.